we try and build a hash table of our own using just arrays. So basically, a hash table is a data structure. So uh, it always works uh, in a key value pair. So this means that given a key, which could be anything, uh, it could be a person's name, uh, which then retrieves out a person's uh, phone number for you, or it could be a name um, student, and you can retrieve the score or it could be a email address and you pull out uh, maybe the allocation something like that so the idea here is that given a key you can get the value out right so you can to do this you can actually have an array and in each array position an array you can have another list that simply stores the value uh, of the key value pair so in this case let's say you have a student and the score of the student's 90 you can actually store it in this position as for another uh, student let's say um, snow you can start at 80 so on and so forth so how do you know the location so given the key you can hash the key through a hash function, which will then return a hashed, hashed key. And this hash key will basically tell you the location of the array store key value pair. So it would indicate position for you to store this data. And at the same time, there could be collisions, meaning that certain keys could lead up to the same bucket or the same slot, and you'll need to append it further. So let's say you have another one called person and store the value of, let's say, 30. So these two key value pairs share the same slot uh, or the same bucket, uh, but it's very rare uh, that it actually encounter collisions. Because you can determine how big the size of the hash table you want it to be. So the main functions of the hash table um, is that you could add a uh, value, key value pair. Basically, add a new record in the hash table. You could also retrieve, given a key, and also delete, given a key. So this will just simply uh, return. This will simply delete the existing key value pair on the hash table. All right, so now we can go to your code. First, we define a class for hash table. And initialize it with a size. So this size is basically just a key size, right? So this is just a key size, and then this is the actual hash table. The actual hash table is just basically an array of arrays, so you, for each position, you can actually have multiple um, buckets. It's for uh, first one, which would be the size of the key. So the number of buckets corresponds to the number of uh, keys there are that you want to store in the hash table. So the first step we have to do is the add function, which takes in a key and a value. And we have to calculate the hash key, which tells us the position of where to, where to store um, this um, value. And we use the hash function from Python. 
uh, and you pass in the value key and you mod the size uh, of your hash table so the location doesn't exceed the, the size of the hash table and now you can retrieve bucket right so the bucket uh, is basically the position of the hash table given the hash key and now you just iterate through this data in the bucket because that could be collisions okay so now what you do is uh, you have the current key and current value in each record and if the key corresponds to the current key this means that the key is found right so you can actually have a variable keep track of whether the key is found so if a key is found this means that you're actually trying to update um, the key instead of um, adding a new item in the box so we can just break out this and now if key is found all you would do is you just update it so bucket index equals to a new key and value and otherwise you just add it to the bucket and now we can do the retrieve function with the key. Sorry, I have to do the self here. And this part is exactly the same, creating hash function and bucket. And now you have to go through the bucket. So you don't need the key anymore because when you find the key, you can actually just simply retrieve it. So now if the current key goes to the key, what you would do is just return the current value of the key. And that's it. Now you can do delete, which also just sticks in the key. Except that now when you find a key, you actually just delete from the bucket. So that's it. You do one for accounts, uh, get sites, which um, basically returns the You actually keep track of the number of items. So you count items, which starts from zero, and you return count items. So that's it. And every time we delete a key, uh, you would actually minus one item from a key. And over here, when you add a new key, um, you would just basically increment it and do a function or a string representation just in case you want to print out the entire uh, hash table one item in the hash table and now when you try to add another value you have two values in the hash table and now you can also retrieve a value so you 
John is a good print of that. Could be 90 for John. Right, and what you can do is you can actually update value. So you can update value by just simply passing in a John, which the key already exists, and you update value 99, and now when you try to retrieve John again, it would be 99. So it's updated, and now you can actually delete. So, um, so you can take away John. John disappear. So John is gone from the hash table and you bring the hash table size. So we started with adding John, adding Mason, and then printing out the score for John, updating the score for John by adding the same uh, key, and also deleting away John, and now you're only a Mason, and printing out a key size of one. Yeah, and that's how you build your own hash table. Thank you.